Merry Christmas, everyone! Pen, I'm here again, and today we are going to be opening the traditional Crossed Souls boosters. So uh, today we'll be over, uh, we'll be opening the Korean version, the Crossover Soul, as the OCG uh, usually names it, uh, booster box, and this one is a sealed booster box. So this should be pretty interesting, honestly. Uh, it's been a while since we've opened the. Korean product of this uh, variety, of this actual set, you know. Uh, we have our challenge, which is still going on, uh, which is to um, obtain the TCG first edition ghost rare version of this bad boy right here from these beautiful booster boxes. So uh, we'll be digging into a brand new booster box later on in this video, but today we are mainly focusing on the Korean box. It's been a long time and it's good to be back to this set in Korean because the collection is not yet complete and it is a pain to finish. Believe me guys, it has been going on for a while. Um, m although most cards have been pulled, uh, we do not have a playset of everything just yet. And uh, some card rarities are still missing, including a few secret rare versions of, um, well, basically some of the super rares from this set, including the main card that I want to see today, Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit. Uh, so basically, that would be the one pull we want to see today as a secret rare. Uh, so yeah, that would be our goal. Let's start right up, and I'll continue talking to you guys at the same time. So, uh, first off, we have our Zephras. Oh, and we have Fusion Conscription as our rare. So yeah, not a lot of things are missing in the Korean Master Set. Mostly just a few foils that are um, missing in numbers, but we do have a copy of everything at the moment, I believe. And we have a Fight for Fusion... Or Fluffle Fusion, or whatever, you know. The Fusion spell for them. Ah, it's been a while since we've opened this, and it's so much fun. We have the Yozanju stuff. Oh, no rares at all. So yeah, um, a lot of Korean cards lately. That's because the, um, the more collectible stuff that I have ordered online has been uh, delayed for a while. Because of the uh, Canadian post office... Um, Oh, we have our first super, the Raid Raptor. Pretty neat. We'll put it right... You know what? I'll... Nah, I won't sleeve it. It's just a super. We'll keep the sleeves for the better ones, because we're low on sleeves at the moment. Anyways, as I was saying, the Canadian post office is... Uh, well, they're on strike, and they've been on strike for a long time. So unless it's one of those brand new sets that I can get at a local store, I've been using my reserves for about a month now for these... Uh, regular vids that I've been uh, uploading. We have Rank Up Magic. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much why we've been seeing a lot of Korean cards, uh, because I usually stack up on those and try to have uh, a bit of OCG stuff every now and then, but <laughs> lately it's been pretty much every now and then. Uh, we have the uh, Oracle of Zephyr, I believe the name of this field spell is, which was a secret rare in the TCG set. Our Zephras again. Oh, we have our first Ultra, which is Necroz of Sophia. We pulled her previously in our first booster box of the challenge, and now we have her as the Korean version. And as you guys might notice, not much has been changed. Like, there's no censorship whatsoever, but I do feel like the Secret Rare is a little more beautiful. Not just because of the bling, but it feels like the colors are a little darker in the TCG, it seems. Anyways, so uh, that's our first interesting pull for today. We'll sleeve it up. And uh, yeah, so uh, I'm really sorry if you guys are not too interested in the Korean stuff. But a lot of TCG stuff is coming, and uh, probably a bit of more of Pokemon will be coming pretty soon. Uh, so do stay tuned for that. We have Void, uh, whatever this is. Is this Purification? Uh, something like that. Uh, but yeah. And, uh, we'll be having another giveaway very soon if it doesn't just start 
in the upcoming week because uh, I would love to oh jar of avarice. I would love to have a giveaway uh, to start off the new year strong, you know, guys. So if you have any suggestions for uh, prizes to give out uh, for the giveaway, do keep in mind that uh, the budget is somewhat low as I am a university student. I don't have that much money to invest in uh, giveaways. Uh, but, you know, oh, we have our super air. Uh, I, this is Chao Feng of the Yangzing, I believe. That's interesting. We have a ritual and exceeds and a synchro for our foils up to now. That's actually very diverse. Anyways, but yeah, uh, so yeah, if you have any suggestions, do mention them in the comment section down below, and I will keep those in mind when the new year starts. Ooh, I don't think we had this rarity for this card. Uh, we have um, Satellar Knight Ptolemius as a secret rare. Ah, oh, geez, this means that we won't be getting our uh, secret rare ghost ogre. But this is beautiful. No regrets whatsoever. Oh, wow, this is nice. Definitely do not believe we had this yet. We can still pull an ultimate rare, I believe, and maybe even a ghost rare. So, uh, the odds are still in our favor. We have a lot more packs left than... None. We have last turn. So yeah, I mean, the giveaway, the post office, uh, what else am I supposed to say? Um, I did wish you guys a Merry Christmas, right? And uh, this is Dreamland. And uh, so yeah. Oh, right. Um, so yesterday was the last day of the Advent calendar. I don't know if a lot of you guys have been following the uh, openings, daily openings, might I add. Uh, we have Zephra here um, on the Facebook of the channel, but definitely go check the Facebook out if you haven't yet. Uh, there is a lot more activity there than there used to be, um, and I really am working hard on making it more lively. And afterwards, we'll be working on the Twitter a little bit more uh, to keep that uh, a little more active as well. Oh, we have an Ultra. We have a uh, Ulti. Um, hmm. It's Ritual Beast Ulti Gaia Pelio? Pelio? Yeah, something like that. It's been a while. It's been a long time. There we go. So we have Synchro, Exceeds, Ritual, Fusion. <laughs> I mean... We're only missing basically like the effect mo monsters or the normal monsters and the pendulum monsters as foils. I don't remember if there are any foil pendulums in here. I do know there are some foil effect monsters, but pendulums I'm not sure. There's probably a couple Zephras. Oh, we have a battle ball. Anyways, two ultras, two supers, and one secret, and we're not even halfway through the box, or about halfway through. That's pretty good. We have a Raid Raptor. Is that Mimicry Lenius or something like that? Hmm. Pain Lenius. Oh, we have our super rare uh, Amarillis for the Shadows. Pretty nice. We'll sleeve. Nah, supers don't, don't need to be sleeved. We only have like a few sleeves left. But it is a nice pull, because I don't think we had our playset yet. We have been getting some pretty decent stuff. Nothing too insane, but good stuff for the collection, that's for sure. We have uh, Oyam, I believe the name is. Yozenju Ojam, Oyam, something like that. And... Oh, another Zephra. Zephra of the Yang Zing. Oh, no rares at all. Those happen once in a while. Anyways, so uh, there will be a lot coming up, guys. Uh, quite a few uh, collectible stuff ordered from Japan. They are just very, very delayed. Uh, there are a few TCG items also on the way. Uh, probably going to do something interesting for New Year's. I'm not sure yet what we'll be opening, but it should be interesting. 
And the new year, or the next year in Yu-Gi-Oh! seems to be interesting also. Um, with Firewall Band, uh, some new decks I've been seeing uh, more play. Uh, including, you know, Prank Kids and uh, a, little, uh, a little bunch of other decks that are a little more uh, control-based than uh, the big explosive stuff we used to have. Uh, with the Rongo Bongo turbos and stuff like that. Oh, and we have... Oh, wow. We have the Ultra and the Secret in the same box. Neat. Okay. Well, then, we'll take this. Three Ultras. Nice. I had forgotten there was three. I, I thought it was two. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, this is good. We're getting more foils. You never complain about more foils. You complain about poor foils. But not more. And we have uh, the Melodious. But yeah, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! should be pretty interesting this upcoming year. Uh, with Savage Strike bringing a lot more Synchro stuff back into the game. And I believe um, some other archetypes are getting more support. Uh, at the moment, no leaks have been um, found about more danger support or whatever. But that is a very interesting archetype. And uh, I do recommend people keep uh, giving that archetype, you know, keep it under watch. Oh, we have, a, is that Entis? It is Entis. We have a super rare right here. No ultimates, no ghosts, but still a lot of time and a lot of more packs. I think we have one or two more foils to expect. Oh, we have a fight for Leo. Nope, nothing here. Anyways, so yeah, um, it's going to be a pretty interesting year. And I do know that uh, Felix, uh, my friend on this channel, uh, that has been helping a bit once in a while and appearing in a few vids up to now, uh, is interested in trying to buy maybe a full case of Savage, Savage Strike. So uh, do keep an eye out for that. Um, oh, Ultimate Rare, Ulti Gaia Pelio. So this is not the first time we've pulled this Ultimate Rare, I believe. I'm not sure anymore. I know I've pulled a lot of them as uh, the TCG version. But hey, Ultimate Rare, Ulti Gaia Pelio. Kind of funny. Kind of funny. But hey, we've got an Ultimate Rare. So that's nice. That is very nice. Let's put them well in view in the back here. There we go. We still have about six or seven packs left. Not gonna count, not gonna take the time to count because this video is meant to be short and sweet just to give you guys a bit of love on this joyous occasion that is the holiday season. So you guys have a little hobby break before going back to your families for some more celebration. Because there's not only uh, Christmas during this season. Oh, we have a uh, Galaxy Cyclone. There's also, obviously, New Year's. There are a lot of family reunions and stuff like that. Uh, we're not going to leave the supers right. Okay, well, I don't expect any more foils. But it would be nice to have a Ghost Ogre. Which is a super rare in this OCG set. Or a secret. But hey. Okay. Anyway, so yeah. Do enjoy your family, guys. It is very, very important to keep good relations with your family. Because they are the ones you should rely on when you are in need of help. Those and your friends. Do spend some time with your friends, too. Oh! Okay, another Ultra Rare. Wow. Okay, I guess this... Box was blessed. <laughs> wow, this is a... I, I wouldn't call it a Christmas miracle, but I mean... Four Ultras. I don't remember it being so generous in the past. Like, five Supers, four Ultras? I thought it was more or less five, three, one, one. Anyways, we have one pack left, guys. And then we'll go on to the challenge section of this video. So, final pack. Can we end with a foil? 
No, we do not. But we've pulled quite a lot of beautiful looking cards right there in the back. Let's take a quick look again at them. Ah, there we go. There we go. So Cyclone and Tiss, uh, Amarilis, uh, Chao Feng, and Raid Raptor. For our Ultras, we have Ulti Gaia Pelia. We have Tholomius. We have Sophia twice. So two Sophias. And we have our second Gaia Pelio, which is an ultimate rare. And we have our second Ptolemius, which is a secret rare. So this will probably help fill up the binder just a bit. Uh, I'm not sure if the supers are too interesting at this point, and Sophia either, but these should help a bit at least. So that is very, very, uh, <laughs> very cheerful way of celebrating Christmas. And now we'll dig into this Cross Souls booster box. So the challenge, if you guys aren't too familiar with it yet, is to get the main card of the set as a ghost rare. So ultimate rare or ultra rare will not count. See, uh, no, it doesn't come as an ultra rare. It comes as secret rare, I believe. Yeah, yeah. So uh, those two rarities would not count. It would be nice, but it would not count. We have to get the Ghost Rare as a first edition, because we did pull it as a Unlimited in the past. So first edition is what matters right now. Let's dig in. Uh, we'll open two packs today. It's, it's Christmas. You know what? Let's open a few packs. We have Putrids, Melodious, and oh, wow. <laughs> We have an ultra rare Ptolemius. So, um, look at this beautiful assortment of Ptolemius's. Ptolemy? Anyways, so there aren't that many differences between the ultra of the OCG and the ultra of the TCG. But, uh, hey, we got a foil on our first pack on this merry day. Let's put these to the side and this one, let's leave it up. So uh, let's open another pack. First one on the left side this time. It would be funny to see that this is a mirrored box. Like the, getting a foil in here would be funny. Moon and wow, is this really a mirrored box? No, no way. Okay, okay, no, 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 no. This is not a good way to do a challenge. If they're mirrored, you know what you're gonna get. Oh man. I mean, it's swell to at least know that we have our two Ultras already, but... Oh, man. Okay, we'll open a couple more to see what's up. We have Barbar, but no foils. What We have Shete, which is like a dollar or two a card, which is pretty interesting. And uh, hopefully this one will be a foil to prove that it's not a mirrored box. And it is! It's not a mirror box! Okay, we were just extremely lucky at the beginning of this opening. Wow, okay. <laughs> okay, uh, that's a lot of stress off my shoulders right now. So, um, in four packs, we pulled three foils, which is insane. Uh, that is not a good omen for the rest of the box, but maybe this box is just blessed and we'll pull the nut getting so many foils that would be pretty insane uh but yeah these are the cards for the challenge and since none of them are ghost rares the challenge goes on and uh we have our beautiful korean cards so this concludes today's video as i mentioned previously in the vid do leave a comment down below if you have any suggestions for um the new year special video and uh the giveaway that will occur on it uh so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed today's vid. I know I did. It's been a pleasure. And Panem, out. Yeah.